<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Afrocentric Spaza. Today I am heading to Kar Kariako Market to buy kangas or laces in Kenya. Um, yeah, and I'm going to buy sandals as well. Um, and what else? Clothes. Yeah, I'm going to window shop for clothes. Well, not window shop at the market, but um, sightseeing in the market, I, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, Kariako is the biggest market in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. It's like being in a shopping mall. Look at the shoes, very good, very new. Um, it's very busy here, very crowded. I would recommend you to go here early in the morning because it's very hot in Dar es Salaam and you can really suffocate if you don't <laughs> buy water you know y you might need to buy water maybe every hour or two yeah or even cool juices which are plenty in Dar es Salaam like sugarcane coconut water fresh coconut water Hi everyone, I'm at a Kanga store here in Kariako Market. I'm going to buy two of them and so yeah, let's see how much they cost, how they look like, the patterns. Yeah, see this Kanga, it's very um, full of patterns. Yeah, um, that's circles this is purple look very very pretty patterns um, yeah different colors I love this and the translation is God is my defender but I'm not sure because I don't know Kiswahili that much um, kanga prices start from around Australian dollar 3.5 to 4.5 but ne negotiable and this this one's addresses very pretty also very printed with different patterns as you can see yeah and they're very free um, not very fitting they cost about Australian six dollars. Huh? Got two kangas. Next move is to buy trousers and shoes. Huh? I'm looking for two light trousers to buy here in Dar es Salaam. Yeah. Ngoja ni pime. Nanyambia Bay. Look at the shoes here at Kariako Market. Um, there's children's shoes, men's yeah. shoes, um, Maasai sandals. Yeah, those sandals are made with leather, tires, animal skins, and they're very strong. They're just like ordinary sandals. Um, also ladies' shoes, more Maasai sandals here, made of tires, car tires. I'm trying one here, very nice. Oh. I'm now looking for cute sandals which are casual and comfortable. Look at all these shoes. I think this is just a shoe area. <laughs> yeah, look at this red cute. It's furry on the top. Mm, but I don't think it will go with all my attires. I'm looking for something neutral. This one is written Adidas versus Nike. Mm. 
baby's gal's shoes very cute school shoes sandals on top there now i found a place um where I was selling the type of sandals i was looking for these ones are filler brand everyone wears this shoe in dar es salaam it's you know not everyone but it's so common um yeah that's about the price range about australian dollar three to six very comfy they're made in tanzania and some in china yeah tanzanians seems they are very talented well done tanzania for making your own sandals in all type of varieties cuteness you know kenya needs to learn this <laughs> Yeah, I think Uganda is doing better than us in sandals, but yeah, Tanzania is way better than Kenya and Uganda. So after all my shopping, I came to buy coconut water to quench my thirst. Oh, <laughs> very hot in Dar es Salaam. You cannot leave Kariako Market without quenching your thirst. You know, any drink, sugarcane juice. Ooh just look at that refreshing ah I love it love it <laughs> look at that coconut water it's full and I'm trying to drink it with a straw but mm, doesn't resonate well it's like eating ugali with a fork yeah it's just best to drink it with your mouth <laughs> it feels you much better uh, yeah very tasty I love this drink quenching quenching thirst mm. Kenyans African diasporans you should try this whenever you come to Tanzania yeah after I drank it, now I asked that guy to um, cut the flesh, the coconut flesh for me. You can see. Yeah. So you should always try, wipe your hands. Try to carry a hand wipe. You know, it's hard to find some way to wash your hands. So here I am. I want to eat this coconut flesh. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> I love this.